Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. In this episode, as you guys can see from the shirt, we're going to install a few more Altrider parts. To be exact, we're gonna install the master cylinder guard and the exhaust guard on the left hand side. But uh, enough with the chit chat, let's get on it. The question is, why would I want to replace uh, the OEM guard with uh, the Altrider guard? First and foremost, the Altrider guard is made out of aluminum, which is way stronger than plastic. The Altrider guard covers way more of the master cylinder that uh, the OEM plastic part does. It goes uh, around and covers the back side, while on the OEM it's uncovered. It goes way higher and covers the attach of those pipes over here. So pretty much I'm getting more protection with a way stronger piece of aluminum compared to the plastic. What we're gonna do is take the OEM plastic off. We're gonna put it on a scale. We're gonna compare the weight from the aluminum one and the plastic one and see how much more weight we're adding to our bikes. And beside all the practical stuff, well, those covers look a million times better than the plastic OEM covers. So that's another reason why I wanna put those on. Let's get on with it, let's start taking it apart. Taking it off is a fairly straightforward job. It's just a matter of uh, getting our T30 and undoing the guard. Once you do the first uh, turn, you can actually go by hand and take it off. Now remember, those two bolts actually hold uh, the master cylinder in place as well. So the new bolts are gonna go through the guard and through the master cylinder. Okay, let's start with the OEM and the OEM weights 43 grams, which is 1.52 ounces. Let's follow up with uh, the Outrider part. 101 grams, which is 3.56 ounces. So this is one of the easiest components you will ever find to install on the bike. And the installation goes something like this. You get the provided bolt, you go through the hole, you turn it around, you put the two little spacers on it. And I'll try there, as a good company as they are, they actually provide you with thread lock. So put a little bit of thread lock on the bolts. And pretty much that's all there is. And now we are just gonna Put it through the master cylinder and through the frame. At this point, uh, we just have to tie it down. We gotta give it a good tie. See it? And done. Let's move on to the other side. Okay, it's now time for the left side. And this thing over here is the exhaust cover. On this side as well, the guard actually cover way more. All these parts over here uncover, they're actually gonna be covered by the Altrider guard. As always, before we put the Altrider exhaust guard in place, we're gonna weight them both and see what's the difference in weight. Let's take it off. So it doesn't get any easier than that. Uh, we get the the two screws off, there you go, at this point uh, we can go ahead manually, one and two, let's go with the OEM, 78 grams or 2.76 ounces, and the Altrider, 110 or 
3.88 ounces. I guess quality weights. And we replace it with the Altrider guard. In this case, just uh, pass the screws through the, through the guard, apply some thread lock, and then just put it on. There we go. Okay, at this point we're gonna get uh, our T30 and uh, we're gonna tie it up. One and two. Look for the clearance, it looks good. Done. As you guys can see, the Altrider cover cover way more of the exhaust that it keeps your foot off of it. And now if you guys can see over here, you see some blemishes. Well, that's my boot <laughs> eating the exhaust. Now with this uh, guard, my boot shouldn't be able to reach the exhaust anymore. On top of that, when I stand on it, doesn't matter if I flat foot the peg like this, or I tiptoe on the pegs, the cover still protects on one side and if you take a look at the other side is exactly the same thing my my heel is not hitting the exhaust no matter what flat foot or tiptoeing so top work so the installation is complete uh, it was a breeze pretty much four bolts and we were done remove the old one put on the the new one and we're good we get uh, all the protection of the aluminum compared to the plastic. The parts are better engineered. They actually cover and protect more than the original plastic one. And to top it all off, it looks a million times better. So, two thumbs up. Besides with a company like Outrider, there is nothing to be worried about. I had their uh, skid plate now for uh, almost as long as I had the bike and no complaints whatsoever. They look better, they are more resistant, so two thumbs up from me. So, for everything I use in this video, as always, check the description for links. If you like the video, like. If you love the video, subscribe. Dirt on, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>